Welcome back to V-Ray SketchUp series. In this video, we are going to talk about V-Ray Mesh Light. The V-Ray Light Mesh can create light sources that have volume and shape without the need to use self-illuminated objects and global illumination. If the light mesh is close to other surfaces in the scene, it is best to use it with GI enabled. The mesh light can be accessed through the V-Ray Lights toolbar. It is inactive until an object or geometry is selected. Notice that it's the only button in the V-Ray Lights toolbar that is grayed out by default. Let's create our mesh light by selecting this component. Now the mesh light button becomes active. Let's click on it and go to the asset editor. And our viewer mesh light is created. Left click to rename. Let's increase the intensity to 200. Before we hit render, let's take a look at our sunlight and V-Ray dome light settings. In the sunlight settings, it is disabled. While in the V-Ray dome light, it is enabled. The HDRI texture box is checked. And the intensity is set to 0.1. I have these settings to make our rendered scene dark so we can clearly see our mesh light. Now let's render. Getting back to our Lights tab in the Asset Editor, we can see a set of mesh light controls. In the main section, let's change the color of our mesh light. Just click on this, select a color, let's try this one, and let's render again. There are more control settings in the options section. Please check it out in the descriptions below. Let's go straight to acoustic subdivs. I think this is the most important thing to know. Lowering these values produces noisy results but renders faster. And setting it to a higher value will give you a smoother result but it takes more time to render. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing because I will be uploading more videos and I will see you soon. Bye and have a nice day.